here is the control for the other unit. We're done underneath. We don't have to go back under because we have water. We know everything's good this direction. So we're headed this direction. We're headed this direction. There's two shutoffs here. There's a one by Steve and Kathy's cabin. There's a pit there that has to be enough. All that pit is, is in the fall time, we turn it this way so the water can get out of there. It's, it's a bypass, so it drains all the systems here on over, drains it. Now we're going to go down, we're going to shut it off so it doesn't drain down there. We're going to turn the water on here, but before we do this, we have to go to each cabin and make sure everything is shut off. All right, with use again, this unit, you can see how it's beveled out. It's been pushed really hard at times. It's not designed. It, it works, you know, it definitely works as a wrench, but it's probably not designed for that. It's beveling out. There is a shut off down below here. In the winter time or fall time, we drain all those lines. This directions are all drained here. It is drained here. It is drained under each of our cabins. There's a drain, right? So that's where we're at, and that's a little different cap. So we go down here, and I don't remember which is which, to be very honest with you. Well, we should get that down. I'm okay. I'm turning this one right tight, so in the springtime, in the springtime, I'm going parallel with the pipe. You see how the handle is, Kathy? You want to show down below the pipe? Mm -hmm. So that allows the water to cut, be shut off, evidently, if this is shut off correctly. If we turn the water on now, and this fills up with water, it's the wrong direction. <laughs> but we'll have to write it down. Right now, again, this is a brass fitting down there, too, which is standing up and holding up good. This one isn't. This is just a drain system. We're shut off in every cabin. Yep. Next step uh, in about five minutes. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay. We're going to go now and, and turn the water this direction. You're going to go to your cabins and make sure. Now the main valve that sh runs parallel to your floor joist should be off. So that won't allow water to come into your system. Everybody understand that? Mm -hmm. So if you have an issue again, just you shut yours off and that still allows Stephen to have water. It still allows Craig and Nancy to have yep. water. Okay. Let's go and see what we got. Here is the turn on and off for this unit down here. Where'd that come from? This came, house. thank you. Came from the fish house. It should be hung up on the back wall of the fish house. Oh. How much will it turn? It should turn a quarter of a turn. When we turn these on and off in the fall time, it might be me. Be careful to turn it on too far. So it would be left on this dad? There we go. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you're pushing with your right hand, you're moving it towards the left, right? Yeah, so uh, counter, uh, counter thank clockwise. You, yeah. Thank you. Counterclockwise, counterclockwise, thank you. Oh, yeah. You are right. So, counterclockwise for this one. Everybody went to their cabins prospectively here because we should have mm -hmm. water to each cabin. Mm -hmm. The two unique things with your cabin, meaning birch and meaning mm -hmm. pine. Yep. Birch and pine is the shower units they put in. If we turn the main unit on now, we're going to water squirt everywhere. Got it. So we can't do that. We have to go into the shower units and get those taken care of before okay. we can turn them on. Okay. 
Yeah. All right. Replace when these got replaced, they got replaced with with a nice shower mechanism. The problem is, is there's concerns because these probably weren't designed to take in and out yearly. They're put in 10 years, 12 years. They're meant to be kept in there. There's some O-rings, and if you see the black O-ring right here, one right there, and the third one right there. If they wear out by moving them in and out, that is hard on them. I'm taking a little Vaseline and I'm just lubricating that O-ring. The reason is if I put it in without doing it, it'll cause checks in the rubber portion of it and, and, leak. and leak. And I have a C and I have an H on there. Okay, you see that H and C? Mm -hmm. Cold and hot. I take these units, push it in, <laughs> are you putting lots of pressure? Uh, not yet I'm not, but um, it's supposed to lock in there, and it isn't doing it right now. Are you supposed to line something up? Yeah, there is. The two here, can you see that? Yeah, can you see in there? That's uh -huh. what I'm trying to hit right now. Perfect. There you, go. you see how it clicked uh -huh. in there then? We got it in there correct as well. And did you want H and C in certain places? Yeah, the C should well, that, be Well, that will happen when you get it in right. Uh, no, you could put it in reverse. Oh, right, right, right. And then uh, if you want some hot water to make it a surprise. I'm going to take my mechanism in, my collar, locking collar. Phillips, Jim. Yeah, yeah, in my yellow box in my bedroom, there's a toolbox. On, yeah, there's a toolbox on the floor just to pull it out and open it up. Turning too? No, not it's a lock it in. I'm just checking everything right now to see if we're straight. Thank you. Okay. I'm trying to get this to loosen up and it What happens? They dry out, yeah. and uh, you know, if you're sitting out in the winter time and stuff like that. Yeah. We may have issues.
Two over here. Hey Jim, do you know? Can you see what he's doing? Chat, you see that's the drain one. Well, I'll have it on tape. Uh, okay, that's the drain one. So that one stays closed. This one's already on. That's the main one. And so now I'm turning this on. And I'm turning. Whoa, 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 whoa! What the hell happened there? 